Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about uh, the arithmetic with very long numbers. Uh, suppose you have uh, uh, two very long numbers. First is this one, and second is this one. These two numbers are so very long that the addition of these two numbers will not be possible by storing these numbers in the integer or the long variables if you are doing the programming with the C. So we will have to think about some other mechanism by which this addition can be performed. So uh, one of the examples or one of the option would be to store all these digits in one array for the first number and the other numbers also in the next array. So if you uh, have the two arrays for storing these two numbers then what you can do that uh, you can start performing the addition of these two numbers first separately and if the carry is generated you can forward it for the addition of the previous two numbers and then similarly if the carry is generated you can send it for the addition of these two numbers and so on and so forth. Now what is the problem with this kind of the solution that you need to perform the cycles you need to perform this addition with as many cycles or as many CPU cycles as the largest number. It means if we have this number and the number of digits in this number are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, then you need to perform 23 cycles because the lower number is uh, of less digits as compared to the upper number. So you need to perform 23 CPU cycles for performing this addition. But uh, this is actually not feasible or you can say that it will take so very long time. So to reduce the number of cycles you can think to employ some different mechanism for the addition. So what the different mechanism could be? You start storing these numbers in a group of four. There is a reason of uh, storing these numbers in a group of four. So this is the first number, first first uh, numbers grouping and uh, you can number this group from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Similarly, you can group the numbers of the second number in the, in the four digits set. So this is the first set, second, third, fourth and the fifth set okay so now you have number you have uh, grouped these numbers in a group of four you will store all these numbers uh, in the form of the linked list now so why we are storing the linked list even the uh, storage in the array is also possible but you if you have uh, two numbers so you will never be able to guess uh, that how many how much should be the size of the array so uh, you will have to declare the size of the array uh, as a static and in that case you can, that can fall short of the memory or you may have uh, overestimated the size of uh, the numbers in that case that there can be the wastage of memory also so to avoid that uh, you can use the concept of the linked list in which you can allocate the memory as and when required so you are going to store these numbers in the form of the linked list okay so the first linked list has the first group first so 2 3 4 9 is the first group the second group is 7 8 9 1 okay the third group is 3 4 5 6 and the next group is 8 9 1 2 the next group is 4 5 6 7 and the last group is 1 2 3 so this is the first linked list so let's say the first linked list is denoted by p the second linked list once again with the same method so 2 3 4 5 the group number first is written here at the beginning of the linked list and then 5 6 1 5 6 7 1 this is the second group and then the third group 1 2 3 4 and then the next group which is 6 7 8 9 
and then the next group this is 2 3 4 5 okay so we have made two different linked lists let's say this is q now we will start performing the additions so for doing the addition you will uh, mathematically what you do you start adding the numbers from the least significant digits so now addition will be performed like this and then you will be progressing towards this place similarly you can think of that adding 2349 with 2345 so 2349 would be added to 2345 means the first node of this, this linked list and first node of the second linked list if they are added together and then if the carry is generated that is given to the addition of these two numbers so if the carry is generated in the first group that is given to the addition of the second group so that is what we are doing here okay now let us uh, first understand that why we have taken the group of four numbers not five not three suppose you have an integer number so if you have the integer number uh, and uh, integer requires two bytes for the storage then the range of the integer numbers are minus 2 raised to the power 15 to 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1 so this is minus 3 2 7 6 8 2 plus 3 2 7 6 7 so the largest number that can be stored in the integer is of 5 digits but the largest 5 digit number is 9999 so the largest number that can be stored in the integer is less than the largest number of the 5 digit okay so because of this we are selecting the four digit number for the additions now if you take the four uh, largest number of uh, four digit and you add these numbers okay so the answer would be this one so if you add these two numbers the answer is well within the integers limit even if you have the carry and the carry is added along with these two numbers then also the answer that you are getting is well within the integers limit so because of this only you have selected a four digit number or you have grouped the number in the four uh, four digit each and now you are going to write the let us write the algorithm for the addition so what will be done for the addition We'll be taking the information of this node. We'll be taking the information of this node. We'll be adding these two along with the carry. And let's say the initial carry is zero. Okay, so we are going to add long numbers. The two long numbers given to us are P and Q. Okay and then you are taking a carry from your side which is initially zero so what you're going to do you're going to add the information p dot info plus q dot info and along with carry now whatever this answer let's say this uh, this uh, answer is coming to one nine 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 it is just an assumption that it comes out so in this number the quotient is this one and this one is the remainder okay not the remainder actually the carry so for this addition the sum is this one and one is the carry so you need to segregate this sum and the carry also so out of one nine 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 you can segregate the sum as modulus ten thousand you will get nine 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 in this case and if you divide this number with 10,000, you will get 1 because of integer by integer division. So every time we will be performing this operation to find out the carry and the sum. Now, you will be adding these two numbers only till the time P is not null and Q is not null. So you are going to find the total. How the total is found? Total is equals to carry plus p dot info plus q dot info. Okay. So p dot info plus q dot info plus carry. This is the total. 
so from this you can find out the sum as total modulus 10,000 and you can find out the carry as total divided by 10,000 since you have taken the number from here and here both so you need to progress the P and Q pointers to take the address of the next node fine now whatever sum has been generated that will be stored as a node in the third link list so you need to take a third link list or the answer link list let's say we have taken an answer link list as R and R is null initially R will not have any node initially so for doing the insertion you need to perform an insert end operation because every time a node will be created or if every time the addition will be performed you will be storing that in as the last node so r sum so in the r link list you are going to store this sum as a last node fine and then again this process will be performed you will be finding the total sum carry p and q will be progressed to, uh, to point to the next node and then insertion in the end in the answer link list ok now this operation will be performed by the time you have the nodes in p and q both suppose in after performing these two additions the nodes from the second link list has finished we do not have the nodes from the second link list so in that case what can be done there might have been a carry generated after this addition so that carry will be added with this one and then again this answer will be stored as the last note in the final link list ok so by the time the first link list has the nodes the similar operation will be performed here ok so while p is not null do what operation we are going to perform here we are going to find the total total is equals to p dot info plus carry and then a sum is equals to total modulus 10,000 carry is equals to total divided by 10,000 then we'll be progressing to the next node by p equals to p dot next and then the answer that we have found will be stored as a last node in the r link list ok now the similar operation is required to be performed for the second node second link list also it may so happen that the first number is smaller and the second number is larger so if the first number is uh, uh, smaller and the second number is larger in that case we need to do the similar operation for the second link list in that case this loop will not work the second loop will work so what do we need to write here this is right written below this so while q is not equal to null do you need to find a total is equals to q dot info plus carry then you need to find out the sum as total modulus 10,000 and the carry as total divided by 10,000 you need to progress this q to point to the next node and you need to store this sum as a last node in the link list fine now see uh, there is one thing more that you can do after the addition of the last two nodes or after the last addition let's say a carry is generated ok and if the carry is, gen uh, carry is generated and we are, we are not storing that in the, as a link list node then we would be wasting the carry 
or the answer would be wrong. So if the carry is generated, that should be added as a last node in the link list. So we need to check that also. So below this, this is written after this so loop. If carry is equals to one, then you need to insert that carry in the link list. And finally, when all these operations have got performed, you need to return the link list R, which contains the answer. Okay, so return R. So this is how the addition of the long numbers are performed. Let's let's have a, a relook at what we have done. We have first divided the numbers in the group of four. It, these are written in reverse in the link list. And then the addition of these two nodes are performed. If the carry is generated, that is given for the addition of the next node. Then the carry is given for the addition of the next node and so on and so forth. So this is done with this loop. By the time we have the nodes in, the two, in both the link list, we find out the answer. We segregate the total and uh, we segregate the sum and the carry. Then we advance this P and Q to point to the next node and then the insertion in the end operation okay every time we are finding a node every time we are finding a value that will be inserted as the last node okay while doing the addition the one of the numbers may be smaller if the first number is a small uh, if the first number is larger and second one is smaller we will be performing these operations okay if the second number is a small the second number is larger, we'll be performing these operations. And after this, if the carry is generated, you'll be adding that as a separate node in the link list. And then finally, you'll be returning this link list. Okay, so this is the process of addition of very two very long numbers using the link list. Thank you.